So before we get into these two OVAs that lead us into season four, which I am very excited about, shouts out to everyone who commented letting me know that these are about the three of the four qualifying teams like the, the four teams in the finalists three of them are going to qualify for nationals this is what that's about the tokyo qualifying teams thank you to all that i did want to let you guys know i did end up watching same thing with the alba josai ending i did end up watching the shiro torizawa ending that a lot of people let me know about uh it hit me in my feels very hard i i love ushijima how attentive he was and ended up being and giving everyone a piece of advice because you know they are the future legacy of his school his academy it just always hits me like these third years leaving, you know, all of them saying like, you know, Arigato goes, I, you know, just saying, thank you. Goshiki, him just being so nervous about what he was going to criticize him on, but him just saying, I'm counting on you. Cause he is going to be the ace in the future. It's just, it's just, it, it really did hit me in my feelings and it was good. So thank you to all you told me to watch it, but I'm just so excited for this episode. These, these two episodes. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q. Always love saying that. Always will. Um, won't be doing it for oh so much longer. I mean, I know there's gonna be a lot of people did tell me that there is no foreseeable, like super foreseeable ending. Uh, it was a long time between seasons three and four because of COVID and some other things. But uh, season five hopefully shouldn't be too far out i'm very very excited for that i do know with these like i said these are about the qualifying teams i'm guessing nekoma is going to qualify i'm guessing uh fuku radani is going to qualify obviously i'm curious as to what the third team is going to be but I'm, I'm i am just super interested to see some amazing volleyball games so i am just super ready Remember, guys, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching on Patreon. If you guys are currently watching this on YouTube, we should have started Jujutsu Kaisen on Patreon by now. Hopefully, I'm not incorrect in saying that. But make sure to check out any announcements I have on that. Check that out. We are four episodes ahead of every show on Patreon. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me out. Uh, do not forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Hit that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter and Twitch, all at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys oh so much. Let's hop right into this episode. Uh, High Q, Land vs. Air, the OVA number one. It's, it's called Land vs. Air, episode one OVA. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. My boys, it's always good seeing them. And we'll be going in, okay? Do what we normally do. I love seeing these guys play, the cats. No heavy, but you kitties lack decisiveness. <laughs> oh, I miss Yamamoto. Yeah, as tall ass Liev comes out of nowhere. Ooh, he is so interesting to me. Okay, so this might be another one of the teams that make it. No heavy. You gotta remember them. IQ, land vs. air. I love this. Oh, my boy. <laughs> Uka, oh, my. Bro, I love their outfits. The gray, the uniform. I love it. It looks so good. Nekoma! Ike! Ike! Nekoma! Okay, okay, Nekoma! Cheer, Captain. Yamamoto's little sister. Coming in clutch. Lev has a cute sister? Just like Tanaka? Oh, it's been so long since I've seen these guys play like a full set, man. I love it. So the brain can do its job. Ken, my man, keep the blood flowing. I love it. That's so funny that that's what they normally do. He's psyched up. Ooh. I got to learn more of uh, Fuku Radani's teammates. All I have... I know Yaku. All I have right now is Akashi and Bokuto. What a quick off the top. Okay. 
Ooh, one touch. Oh, okay, nice. That's Fukuridani's point. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I did not expect them to be going against each other, though. I kind of wanted them, you know, to both shine in the spotlight. Ooh, the way he hits a... Oh, my God! I'm just assuming Yaku's a libero. I didn't know he was a libero. All I remember was him during the training camp. He was the one hitting... Uh, was it just hitting uh, serves to Liev while he was training? He snuck away. <laughs> but, oh, my God. For, he has to be because that was insane defense from him. But I love the animation with Bokuto. I love how he hit his shoulder flexibility. I love it. And Bokuto's impressed. Oh, nice. Bro, these are such talented teams. Hell yeah. Get fired up. I didn't know Yaku was so nasty. Oh, what's he gonna do? You could tell it was a straight. Didn't get it though, but Kenma. It's the reaction, it's the it's the intuitiveness, you know, he knows. Bro, the strats from my man Kenma, he's getting inside their heads, and Kuro's all about it. I always am down. I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. You can see that Kenma's shorter than your average blocker. But Kuro makes up for it. Did he switch spots with him? Or what happened right there? That was a great block. Yeah. Hell yeah, Kuro. <laughs> oh, we can see just the intense readiness for his spike all over. They have the straight on lock. They have the entire cross on lock. Oh, that was out. Good. Okay. Sometimes I forget what the flags mean. I, I you know, down is in. Okay. He's a first year. It happens. <laughs> She's so embarrassed. Yes. Oh yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't mind. Don't mind. It happens. <laughs> he looks like a pissed off babysitter. I don't know if he said that purposefully to get in his mind to make him change, because that was the perfect thing he needed to say right there. That was a good spike. Good job. I see why I see why this is called land versus air. I really like that. Their their defense just naturally starts to fill in in itself into what it needs, you know, to keep that brain, keep the blood flow and keep the the brain at maximum efficiency. And then once the once the ground is so focused on, you know, such a threat to our 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 air attacker, he focuses on the ground and boom, blockers come in and stop him. Land versus air. I like that. <laughs> Weakness number 37. That's an interesting weakness, but it happens. He recognizes immediately, calls the timeout. Yeah, he's like, he for completely forgot. He literally forgot how to hit a cross. Now, yep, he's just like a second nature. It's crazy. Okay, so you got to set that up. You gotta set it up perfectly. That's what I love to see. I love a good setter. <laughs> yeah, because he's so new and fresh. So clean. 
bro, he is smart. Akash Akashi is nasty. The way of the ace, that is a nasty t-shirt. I gotta get me one of those. Oh, ho, ho, that's fire. Smash every wall in your way. It's like the Ten Commandments of fucking being an ace. Every ball shall be spiked. Ooh. Ooh, the natural cross just felt best. Set up by Akashi. That was so na A wicked cut. That was, I would have to agree. That was very, very cool. Uh, Nakomara could tell. Ooh, leave is a little down in the dumps. I very much can be. Oh, yeah. And if anyone would know, it would be Kuro, the team unifier himself. There's only one slot left. So, okay, so Itachiyama beat No Heavy, so they're qualified. Fukuradani beat Nekoma, so they're qualified. So we're going to have the Losers Final, which is going to be No Heavy versus Nekoma, which the last team is going to be the qualifying team. I see. I like the way that's formatted. I like that. I like how, I like how much Yaku's taking a little mini spotlight for me. I like that. Heck yeah, that's what I'm saying. My boy Yaku getting a little spotlight. I love it. Hell yeah, so damn cool. I love a good libero. You guys know this. Yep, he said it. Expect locks of faints. Ooh, with a smash right after. Those ones always look nasty. Shiratori's always did that a lot. Ooh, they're getting in their heads. Yeah, getting right in their heads. They are just laying into them. I could see why he would think that. I never thought I would see Nekoma struggling like this. It's actually crazy. I guess these are all S tier, top tier schools. Oh my god, this fucking guy! He's nuts! Bringing that right down on you. What's up? Oh my god. Our usual is not our usual. <laughs> Look at all center brawlic. God damn injuries. Okay, okay, you guys got me, Haikyuu, you guys got me. Well, um, I can already tell you these are gonna be some amazing OVAs. I love the focus on the other schools. I love the focus on the other characters. I love a lot of the focus being on Yaku. I really only remembered him as being kind of like that demon senpai to live during the, um, uh, during the training camp when we went out there he was just certain it was just he was constantly looking like where's leave have you seen him he snuck away for a bathroom break it was just hilarious but he as a libero is popping off so hard and he is doing so much not only mentally but physically as well he's digging he's giving Liv advice he's scolding him when he needs to he was nasty against bokuto i'm just really pleasantly surprised with yaku in this episode and I could tell that the first episode, or this one, Land vs. Air, I can obviously tell what that means, Air being Fukuradani, Land being Nekoma, but uh, I'm curious what the next one, the path of the ball means, because, you know, that's going to be interesting, and we're going against the no heavy, and I think we're going to win, obviously, because it's Nekoma, but I'm curious to see how we do it. We need to get a little... We need to get a little out of this little funk because of how much he's fucking with us mentally they're getting in our heads but i love Liev getting a little alpha dominance at the end there saying you know our usual is not our usual right now relax 
and uh, I love his motivation from Kenma. I think Kenma did it on purpose to calling him out, saying he's not as good as Hinata because he has a little personal rivalry with Hinata. That would be the perfect way. That would work on both of them. If you said you're not as good as Liev to Hinata, he would do the same exact thing. So I love that. I love how Akashi, when it comes to Bokuto, has like a list of weaknesses. He's like, weakness number 37. Sometimes when he's excelling at one aspect of his game, he completely forgets another, which is fucking crazy. Bokuto is so unique of a character and an athlete, but I do always love his hey, hey, hey. You know, it reminds me of some like, I, he has like Mirio from My Hero personality, like vibes, energy. It's constantly, you know, up energetic and you know if someone said mirio that's a nice shirt he'd be like hey you have great taste you know same thing uh, akashi said and i loved his uh commandments the living the way of the ace he was like your back should be an inspiration to your teammates you break every wall and then some about like oh this is everything gets spiked something along those lines it was amazing I really enjoyed that. I really like the Fukuradani gray uniforms. I don't remember them being like that at the uh, at the training camp, but those are sick. Uh, Liev is a hot sister, so it's multiple people with hot sisters now. Crazy. But I think that's all for my notes. I'm just excited to find out where this goes um, and with the second episode. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want early access and full length of this show, all the other shows. I appreciate you guys oh so much. Have a great day, you guys. Peace out.